Mother Country, Madre Patria. To love a country as if we've lost one. 1968, my mother leaves Cuba for America, a scene I imagine as if standing in her place. One foot inside a plane destined for a country she knew only as a name, a color on a map, or glossy photos from drugstore magazines. Her other foot anchored to the platform of her patria, her hand clutched around one suitcase, taking only what she needs most. Hand-colored photographs of her family, her wedding veil, a doorknob from her house, a jar of dirt from her backyard, goodbye letters she won't open for years. The sorrowful drone of engines one last deep breath of familiar air she'll take with her. One last glimpse at all she'd ever known. The palm trees wave goodbye as she steps onto the plain. The mountains shrink from her eyes as she lifts off into another life to love a country as if we've lost one. I hear her once upon a time reading picture books over my shoulder at bedtime, both of us learning English, sounding out words as strange as the talking animals and fair-haired princes in their pages. I taste her first attempts at macaroni and cheese, but with chorizo and peppers. And her shame over Thanksgiving turkeys, always dry but countered by her perfect pork vanilla and garlic yuca. I smell, I smell the rain of those mornings, huddled as one under one umbrella, waiting for the bus to her 10 hour days at the cash register. And at night, the zzz, zzz, zzz of her sewing her own blouses and quinceanera dresses for her grown nieces still in Cuba, guessing at their sizes. And the gowns she sell to neighbors to save for a rusty white sedan, no hubcaps, no air conditioning, sweating all the way through her first vacation to Florida theme parks to love a country. As if you've lost one. As if it were you on a plane departing from America forever. Clouds closing like curtains on your country, the last scene in which you're a madman scribbling the names of your favorite flowers, trees, and birds you'd never see again. Your address and phone number you'd never use again. The color of your father's eyes and your mother's hair, terrified you could somehow, someday, forget these. To love a country, as if I was my mother, last spring hobbling, insisting I help her climb all the way up to the U.S. Capitol, as if she were here before you today instead of me, explaining her tears, her cheeks pink as the cherry blossoms coloring the air that day, when she stopped, turned to me, and said, you know me, home. It isn't where you're born that matters. It's where you choose to die. That, that's your country.